art definitely gives me a chance to, to feel free and at the same time makes me feel like, hey, I'm accomplishing something today. Check this out. I became a part of uh, a group called the B-Side Artists, which is my our collective. Um, me and Spec were one of the, the founding members of the B-Side Artists. It was uh, it was a little tough here in Orlando, say about 12 years ago, trying to actually get being a minority and trying to get art out there. And so what we did was we took the streets. I mean, we were in every corner, we were in every club. My connection to Oregon was my fellow partner here, which is Linus. They sent me an email, and uh, one thing led to the next. They had seen my work, and they asked me to see if I could fill this whole entire space. I was like, I could do it by myself, but I didn't want to take the whole entire show for me. So then that's when I asked um, Eric, which is Spec. I came in, checked out the space. I was like, this is the perfect this is the perfect you know, space that I needed. They recently had a, a Florida uh, residence show and uh, they, um, the installations in there gave me the inspiration to want to go into that kind of setting. And that's why I wanted to do this show here because I wanted to see how it felt to have all this amount of space and create installation work. So this is just barely the beginning for me and what I'm gonna do for the next couple of years. When I create pieces, I'm, I'm condensed and I'm trying to put too much in a small amount of space. So that's when I decided to go much larger. When you're painting a wall, you have so much freedom where you can kind of just fully express yourself. Right now, I feel where my feet are planted in solid ground. I know my style. I know what I want to say. I also know what my audience is. So I'm, I'm, I'm very at ease at this moment. My style actually is, is urbanized. It's impressionism, but it's urbanized. I, this took me like at least five years for me to define my style, and I wanted to do that. So I started messing around with some aerosol cans, you know, clicking can, and, and went at it, and one thing to, to the next. Everybody's born, born as an artist. Only a few of us that managed to go through the whole entire process of keeping it alive. I think the biggest struggle that you have as an artist is dealing with uh, the personal boundaries of people that you love. You have certain dreams and ex expectations, and a lot of them, they don't know what it, what it means to, to be an artist. I want them to have uh, a sense of belonging, and at the same time, I want them to feel as if they, they're getting the full-flown you know, uh, emotion out of what I put into the piece while I was creating it. So if I was upset, you can totally see that on the piece. If I was feeling, I don't know, very culturally aware that day, you know, I, then I want you to see that in the piece. So all the pieces have a different emotion. If, you know, if you get your imagination all wild up because of one of my pieces, then great. So it's more about emotion for me. If I can get you to be emotional somehow, emotionally attached to my piece, then that is what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for. We either one day will play the wolf or we'll be the sheep one day. So we're predators and prey all at the same time, and that's where the problem with the world that I felt at that moment was not race, skin color, you know, or, or ethnicity or what have you. It was the heart of man. It's whatever you feel that you have in your heart, and that's where this space came from. I was like, all right, how do I, how do I not go so dark and keep it light? So this is where Spec came in. So Spec came in and brought that light, that playfulness, that hip hop, that real hip hop. I like to come up with um, cool color schemes um, just because I like to kind of work on techniques where it actually comes out more versus than just being flat pounded on the wall. I mean, utilizing different type of colors kind of brings it out and goes in and out. The past couple of years, I've been doing more like line work and abstract. Before me actually becoming like a graffiti writer, I used to actually paint like paint, paint with brushes and stuff like that. There are so different type of art that you can kind of do. Graffiti is not only about street, it's also that you can kind of utilize the tools in the same way how people can use a paintbrush, you can utilize the graffiti technique. 
same way. A lot of times people consider graffiti as game related, but it's just another form of expression. It's a different type of medium that we use rather than using a brush or whatever the case may be. So I mean, the struggle is, um, it's something that you gotta kind of just overachieve. You know, keep on moving forward, definitely keep on showcasing, have the ambition and the love of what you're doing like that people can really you know, accept it. I don't expect to be accepted. I know who are the people that accept me. And so I, I hold firm into that, you know. I, I'm not worried about too much. So as far as the art world and it being, you know what I mean, a, on a different plane, on a different plateau, I think that it's gonna take time. Whatever comes out from in us, it, it's a form of expression. So you gotta make sure that you're releasing yourself like that you can fully express yourself. I mean, if you're trying to do something and you don't feel right, then you're not fully expressing yourself. You're just trying to force something. Never force anything. Make sure that you're doing it full fledged and you're being happy on what you're doing, not trying to serve the next person.